What's up guys? It's good to be back out here filming again. It's good to see you all. Thanks for um, tuning in and watching my videos. Really appreciate all your support um, and all your well wishes. Because as some of you may know, um, I've had a few health issues where I was uh, a bit run down, I was struggling and I've had to cut back a little bit. Anyway, I'm back on my feet again now. I'm feeling better, I'm feeling a lot more energised and great to be back out in the forest again and just soaking it up really. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like the freshness of autumn's coming in and it's just got that real Christmas to the air. I love it. I love this time of year. It's got to be um, one of my favourite times of the year, autumn. Definitely. So the channel's going to be taking a bit of a different direction in the uh, coming months. But we won't go into that now. Stick around later in the video and uh, I'll fill you in. Hope you enjoy the episode. Here's a cool thing. PNW Bushcraft sent me this fantastic wax uh, bag, a buckler, I think they call it. But uh, basically, it's a nice little sort of like bag with a fastening. It's a wax canvas that goes nicely with the backpack, and uh, it'll fit all sorts in it. So, um, in here I have my little coffee maker and 12 centimetre billy can. Perfect for sort of cooking up in and uh, all sorts. It's great. But uh, yeah, that fits nicely in there. And then another fantastic little thing about this thing, it's got lots of little side pockets. So in here, this is basically uh, essentially my coffee kit. So there's, that's where I keep my coffee, that wee jar there. And I've got my little spoon in there. And uh, the other great thing that um, I fit in there is uh, my, um, my little Trangia stove will fit nicely in there uh, along with its um, wire stabilizers. I don't have that in there at the moment, so I don't really need it. So that's a cool little thing.
So guys, early on in the uh, video, I said to you I'd sit down and talk to you about the direction of the channel. As much as I would love to be able to produce a weekly video for you and um, it to have that high level of content as well as production value, uh, I just don't think that's feasible. It was getting harder and harder for me to achieve what I wanted to achieve. The difference being is, although I'm only going to be producing one to two videos a month for you now, and that's probably the biggest sort of like change. It truly really is something special about sitting in the forest on a day like today where the air is a little bit crisp, uh, the fire's ticking away, pan's on, I need to get cooking going, coffee in hand, I'm just looking out. It's just spectacular. Thank you for supporting the channel and thank you for being there for me throughout everything. And these harder sort of like last few months where I wasn't in the best of health, you know, you guys have been so supportive and so good to me that, um, you know, it's really given me that focus to push on with the channel and, uh, you know, give you guys some fantastic content. That's good. These are like a Italian, almost, it's almost got like a chorizo sort of bite taste to it, but not quite as strong. Sort of sausage, They're a little bit spiced. Really nice. Got a nice crunch to the skin as well. Lovely. Nothing fancy, but incredibly good and staple meal, the legumes and the sausages. A bit fancier version than your tin sausage and beans. I thought the weather was going to turn there for a minute. It um, really darkened up and wind changed and I thought for a minute it was going to rain. I've got the half larvae with me. I'm sat on it at the moment underneath my reindeer hide here. But I thought um, I might have to whip it up for a minute. 
No. I think we'll be okay. I always carry a small tarp in a dry sack just in case I get caught out. Well guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. I thoroughly enjoyed coming out. Absolute therapy for me. So good to get back out in the forest. Hope you've enjoyed it. In my up and coming videos, I'll be sure to be building a lot more. I have some different cool things in mind. And I expect they'll be in this forest here. Yeah, it feels really nice vibe in here. It's quite secluded. I haven't really seen many people about and things. And um, I should be able to build some nice little shelters in here. But uh, that's for future videos. Again, thanks for joining me. If you really enjoyed this video, Please give me a thumbs up. Likes are really important on YouTube. It'll uh, push my videos out to more people and uh, hopefully grow the channel. Leave a comment below. And if you've reached it all the way to the end here, why not put a little tree emoji in the comment and then I know you stay to the end. It'd be interesting to find out how many of you make it this far. I really appreciate all the support and all you guys, all you new um, subscribers to the channel welcome my name's Tom and uh, I'll see you again next time bye guys here's a different one for you so this is the salamander stove from uh, the bushcraft store fantastic piece of kit right absolutely fantastic piece of kit however something I found when I was burning it on logs and things in the past it heats up so much and the ash comes through and actually starts to burn the center of the log or whatever you've got it on out underneath and that is just dangerous for a start because you could catch on fire whatever you've got underneath if you haven't got it on like a on you know just bare earth but the problem is a lot of the forests and things that i go to there's not a lot of bare earth that i can put it on that's safe in itself to um have it sitting on so, I've got this wee little tray, tiny little bowl that fits perfectly in the bottom. It's actually a pet, a little cat bowl, but my gosh, it fits perfectly inside the bottom, catching all the ash that comes through. I mean, you only got to look at this, and that's just with that on top. This whole section here is burnt out on the log from where I've had that, but it's cold and there's been no actual direct embers. It's just been heat from the pan. But if that had been the direct embers from the fire, it could have caught the actual log um, over time. It wouldn't be great, but that's a lot safer way of doing it. And I also sort of like think that it's nice that I can catch the ashes, I can control where they go, I can tidy them up. Take care, guys.